ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ന്യൂ ക്ലാസ് ഇൻ അസൈൻമെന്റ് പ്രോബ്ലം ദ ക്ലാസ് ഇൻ എ പി അസൈൻമെന്റ് പ്രോബ്ലം വി ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് എബൌട്ട് ദി ഡയറക്റ്റ് പ്രോബ്ലം ഇൻ ദിസ് ക്ലാസ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ദി വേരിയേഷൻസ് ഇൻ അസൈൻമെന്റ് പ്രോബ്ലം ഓർ സ്പെഷ്യൽ കേസസ് ഓഫ് അസൈൻമെന്റ് പ്രോബ്ലം ആസ് വി ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് എർലിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ കേസ് ഓഫ് ലീനിയർ പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എൻ അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഒ ആർ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് കൺസ്ട്രെയിൻഡ് ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് മിനിമൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് കോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് പെർഫോമിംഗ് സബ് ജോബ്സ് വിത്ത് ദ സെയിം നമ്പർ ഓഫ് പേഴ്സൺസ് then today we discuss the deviations in ap assignment problem okay that is we are discussing about the special cases of ap at first i am narrating about the normal or ordinary or direct assignment problem under direct assignment problem the objective function is minimization of cost objective function it's a linear programming problem the first component is objective function it is minimization of cost and the conditions constraints are it should be a balanced problem balanced problem in mathematical terminology number of rows should be equal to number of columns in management studies terminology the number of jobs and number of workers should be the same same number of jobs are to be performed by same number of persons with respect to one more constraint that one job is assigned to one worker and one worker should receive one job that is the constraint and one more condition the cost coefficients are to be known the cost of performing a job by a worker is to be known in advance such problems are called ordinary or direct assignment problem three types of special cases of ap are discussed now there are three types one unbalanced ap an ap should be balanced that is the first condition here we discussed a special case of unbalanced ap unbalanced means in mathematical terms that is not a square one number of rows and number of columns are different or in our terminology the number of jobs and number of workers are not the same it is called an unbalanced assignment problem then another type is maximization of profit we discussed in general ap or direct ap is a problem of maximization of cost of performing some jobs with the same number of persons here the variety is it's a problem of maximization of profit and third one there is a mixture of first and second it is a problem of unbalanced and maximization then at the first step for solving ap of special cases we have to modify it we have to change it or we have to transform it into a direct ap transformation of ap into a direct assignment problem so what are the steps required for transformation if the problem is unbalanced we have to transform it a balanced one what is balanced one row and column are equal what is unbalanced row and column are different that is a balancing includes adding a dummy row balancing by dummy row or column as the problem demands 
by adding a dummy row or dummy column or a dummy job or dummy worker to make it or to modify it a balanced. That is the transformation applied to an unbalanced problem. If the problem is of maximization of profit, here our step is to transform into a minimization of problem. It includes transformation into minimization problem includes subtracting every element in the coefficient table subtracting every element from the largest in the given table then the problem is transformed into a minimization problem and the third condition is unbalanced and maximization it is a mixture of both the steps at first it is become transformed to a balanced one then it is changed into a minimization problem then after applying these steps we use the hungarian method discussed in the previous class the hungarian method of solving an assignment problem at first we are discussing a unbalanced problem the problem is to solve the ap for minimization of cost then the problem has four machines and three workers and their cost coefficients are given 7 5 8 4 etc this is a problem of minimization of cost the objective function is direct but the condition is not satisfied one two three three rows and four columns the number of workers and number of machines are different number of rows is three and number of columns number of columns is four that is the mathematical terminology the number of workers is three number of columns is four therefore this is a unbalanced then we are moving to solve the problem but the first step is changing the problem into a balanced problem by adding one worker one worker that is an imaginary worker there is no such person so what about the cost of performing a job by a non-existent person that is zero zero this is the most important point that is the problem is modified by adding a dummy row a horizontal worker is added or a horizontal action is added that is changing to a balanced by adding one dummy row with zero cost that is the important thing that with the zero cost that is a non-existent zero cost that is modification of the problem then look into that modification we are going to modify here the cost is seven five eight Four given the problem. Five, six, seven, four given in the problem. Eight, seven, nine, eight. The cost coefficients given in the problem. Only three workers are given. We are adding a dummy worker. Its cost is zero, 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 zero. Therefore, the problem is modified. So, if the problem is unbalanced it is to be transformed into a balance by adding dummy row or column as the problem demands with zero coefficient with zero cost coefficients then solve by applying hungarian method we are using hungarian method that is discussed in the earlier version of assignment problem repeating that here so this is, now this problem is a balanced problem it is a balanced one we add the dummy row dummy row then in hungarian method the first step is of the first step is of raw reduced matrix raw reduced that is we are subtracting the smallest element in the each row from 
every element here it is 4 7 minus 4 3 5 minus 4 8 minus 4 4 minus 4 the second row the smallest is 4 5 minus 4 6 minus 4 7 minus 4 4 minus 4 here it is 7 1 0 2 1 in the dummy row all are zeros therefore nothing to change carry on that value here then we get raw reduced matrix that is the first step in Hungarian method the second step is column reduced matrix here in every column there is a zero by since we add a dummy row hence the requirement of column reduced step is not needed here so this table is ready for first stage of allocation then we are going to assign or allocate how will you allocate we select single zero row a row having single zero make an assignment or allocation the first row we assign the first worker we assign the fourth machine then cross out all other zeros in that column then second row second row there is no zeros now third row there is a zero we allocate here then in the first column a zero we allocate here the number of allocations is one two three the order is four therefore this allocation is not optimum then we have to go for optimization by a modification this table is to be modified so in the next step our objective is to modify the raw reduced matrix the first raw reduced matrix obtained is not ready for allocation how will you modify we draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines to cover all zeros minimum number of one line is drawn through one line is drawn through one line is drawn how many lines one two three the number of lines drawn is three number of lines drawn is three and order of the problem order is four then we have to modify modify the table how will you modify we have three types of numbers numbers uncovered numbers uncovered discussed in the earlier class uncovered numbers covered by one line and numbers at the intersection where are the intersection here is an intersection here is an intersection how will you modify from the uncovered elements choose the smallest uncovered elements choose the smallest it is one smallest subtract one subtract one from all uncovered elements three minus one two one minus one zero four minus one three one minus one two minus one three minus one we subtract we subtract the smallest among the uncovered from the uncovered elements and there is no change for the numbers covered by single line zero no change zero no change one no change zero 
टू नो चेंज हियर सूरो नो चेंज सूरो नो चेंज सूरो नो चेंज दे आर कवर्ड बाय सिंगल लाइन हियर द टू नंबर्स टू लाइन्स आर इंटरसेक्टेड व्हाट इज द स्टेप एड एड the smallest element in that point so we get 1 and the smallest element is 1 1 1 0 1 so what are the steps to test whether the table is optimum we draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines to cover all zeros draw minimum that is important draw minimum If the number of rows drawn is equal to order of the problem, it is ready for allocation. Otherwise, that table is not ready for allocation. It is to be modified. How will you modify? We identify three types of elements. One, not covered by lines. Numbers covered by single line. Numbers at the junction or intersection. Among the uncovered numbers choose the smallest subtract that from the numbers uncovered add that the intersection and no change to numbers covered by single line then you are test for optimality by assigning how will you assign we consider single zero row at first in that single zero we make an allocation then cross out all other zeros in the third worker we assign we make an allocation here and cross out the other zeros that means worker 3 has to receive second machine then there is any other single zero row in the first row there is only a single zero make an allocation cross out all other zeros in that column continue the process the second row there is only one zero now we make an allocation here cross out the zeros in that column and now then the dummy row there is only one zero we make an allocation so how many allocations first row second row third row fourth row in each row we have one allocation about column the first column second column third column and fourth column we have one allocation therefore the final result is what is the final result the first worker first worker is going to assign fourth machine second worker is to assign the first one third worker is to here m2 and dummy to m3 each worker has to see one m1 m2 m3 m4 w1 w2 w3 therefore the optimum solution is optimum solution is attained so what about the cost in the given problem we are looking into the given problem here the cost is here the here the cost is four allocation here the cost is Five. Here the cost is seven, and here the cost is zero. Therefore, the allocation cost is four plus five plus seven. Now we are discussing a problem of maximization of profit. Here a problem is exhibited on the board. Two components. four salesman s1 s2 s3 s4 and they are allocating to four districts d1 d2 d3 d4 these are the profit coefficients the amount of profit that they can be earned from each districts and salesman salesman s1 will get rupees 16 from district 1 s1 from district 2 he get 10 that is the units of profit the problem is to allocate district to salesman 
This is an assignment problem. The objective is to assign each district to each salesman subject to the condition that one salesman has to receive one district and one district is to assign to one salesman. The first condition is not satisfied here. This is not a minimization problem. The second condition, whether it is balanced or unbalanced, four, work, four districts and four salesmen. So this is a balanced problem, balanced. If the problem is of maximization, the first step is to change into a problem of minimization. How will you transform? That is the first step of the problem. Select the largest profit coefficient in the given problem. It is 16. The largest cost coefficient here is 16. 16. Subtract each and every element, each and every element from 16 to get the modified table. Then we are going to modification of this table. Each coefficient 16, 16 minus 16, 0, 10 minus 16 minus 10, 16 minus 14, 16 minus 11, 16 minus 14, 5, 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, 4, 3, 4, 2, 1. This is the modified table. Now our objective is to minimize. This is a problem of minimization. Minimize. It's a problem of minimization. So this is the situation of maximization of profit. The problem is changed into, change into a problem of minimization by subtracting each and every element from the largest number, from the largest Profit coefficient. Then apply Hungarian method as discussed earlier. By applying Hungarian method, as we know, this problem can be solved. There is one more point to be noted. Using Hungarian method, I am giving the allocations only here now. The allocations may be as it's a unique allocation. That is, one allocation is here, 16. Then next allocation is here, 15. Third one is here, this 15. And last one is. If you proceed by Hungarian method, the allocations you will get is in the form. The exercise is left to you. We discussed in this class and in the earlier class. Now, going for mere repetition. Therefore, the final answer is the first salesman S1 is allocated to D1 and his profit is 16 units. Salesman S2 to D3, district D3 and his profit is 15. The third salesman to second district and the profit is 15. The fourth salesman to fourth district. So refer to this allocation, S1, S2, S3, S4, once and only once, D1, D2, D3, D4, once and only once. And the maximum profit is, maximum means 61. One more special type of problem of AP is discussing now. This is a problem of maximization of profit. The question is maximize profit. What are the components? Five jobs are there. A, B, C, D, E. Job A, B, C. Five jobs. And only four mechanics. One, two, three, four. This is a double strong problem. It is unbalanced. Number of rows. One, two, three, four. Columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a problem of unbalanced one. Maximization of profit. It is unbalanced. Why it is unbalanced? 
Number of rows and number of columns are different, not equal. But part of the second strength, second component, it is maximization of profit. Profit. Therefore, we need two levels of modification. Two levels of modification. First one, it is changed into a problem of step one. Change into a problem of minimization. A problem of minimization. How? What is the step? Select the largest profit value in the table. The largest profit value. That is 111. One. There are two largest values. How will you change into minimization? Subtract. Each and every element. Each and every element from 111. 111 minus 62. We get 49. 49. Subtract every element from that. Here it is. 33, is 19 0 40 30 63 47 24 34 and 31 the figures in red ink denotes the cost that is obtained by subtracting each and every element from the largest profit coefficient. Now we have to solve one more point. One more point. What is that? It is now unbalanced. So we are going to add a dummy mechanic. Dummy mechanic. One row is added. One row is added. What about the cost factors? Zero, 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 zero. Now the problem is balance the minimization of cost. Then proceed by Hungarian method. Now the given problem of maximization, which is an unbalanced, is transformed into a problem of minimization. That is the Minimum requirement for solving an assignment problem. That is, row and column should be the same. And objective function is the minimization. One job is to one mechanic and one mechanic is to receive one job. The problem is ready for optimization. And we know that we use Hungarian method for optimization. By Hungarian method, the solution is, the so procedure of solution is left to the viewer for the time being. And the solution is exhibited here. It is the first job, the first mechanic to see job D, second job B, third one job C, fourth one job E. And the dummy is assigned job A, that is the final solution and the corresponding profit values are 111, 84, 111, 80 and 0 that will fetch the maximum profit and for this problem the maximum profit is 386. There are two situations assignment 1 to D, 2 to B, 3 to C, 4 to E and the dummy receives job A. Now it is time for winding up this class. In this class, we discussed in detail the special cases of assignment problem. Assignment problem is a problem of optimization. 
two conditions are to be achieved for solving the problem. One is a symmetric matrix, row columns are equal and the objective function of minimization. In the case of unbalanced, it should be modified into a balanced one by adding dummy row or column as the situation demands. And in the case of maximization, it is to be transformed into a minimization problem by, trans by subtracting every element from the largest profit element. And one more problem is discussed here. That is a mixture of unbalanced and maximization. Solving, we use Hungarian method. Hungarian method. What are the steps? Find row reduced matrix, find column reduced matrix and make a preliminary allocation. If it is okay, then the solution is optimum. What is meant by okay? One solution, one activity to one person. One person should receive one activity. That is the optimization condition. What is Hungarian methods? If the preliminary table is not ready for optimum, we draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines to cover all zeros. Then we identify three types of elements. One, Elements which are uncovered by the lines. Two, covered by single line. Three, at the intersection or covered by two lines. Then what, what is the step? Select the smallest cost coefficient among the uncovered and subtract from all uncovered elements that element and add at the intersection. There is no change for to the elements which are received one line coverage. Then we go for allocation. If that assignment is optimum, then we accept that solution or continue the process. This is the problem of assignment problem, solution by Hungarian method. And I am winding up this session. Thank you.